know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? Sleeping Martha. Sacred Harbinger. Awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Turn your merciless eyes upon us and arise! Nice show, Doc. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. <laughs> Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I look like someone who gives a damn about any of that? No, you look like you should be bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome, Robo-Man. Um, Iron Man? It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. We come all the way out here, and the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Well, could have at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out? Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got about sand in my nanopolymer weave. Getting it done any way we know how. Interesting tactic.
Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Impressive. Perhaps there's a bounty on the Sorcerer Supremes? suit may be a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, so it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. Gladly. then it may very well cost you your life. That's the spirit. By the will of your This one won't bother us again. made them enthusiastic. Things are moving right along. Defeating the forces of evil and all that. Now that I have their attention, perhaps a blessing is in order. Something... protective? Well, I could give you a hand, or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Ah, don't mention it.
me show you the way. I'm skeptical of your chances, but stranger things have happened. I know that wasn't your signature move. I think. They are relentless. Oh, I thought we were finished. Everything according to plan. I think we pissed them off. Got a spell for that, maybe? Interesting. A spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan? If you can't make it happen in the next ten seconds, I'm not interested. This as miserable as possible for you, fair warning. Hey, the jerk store called. They're running low on you guys. I don't do this for just anyone. That was really something. Ponder arrows. Maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him? Not quite ready to give up just yet. I see you brought some friends along. Oh, I think that's the last of them. Which is good. I might have told Pepper I was just stepping outside the restaurant to take a quick call. And yet I'm the one who's still single. Give it a go. I wouldn't get up if I were you. Here we go. Nothing personal. 
Okay, maybe a little person. Yeah, and you're ugly too. If I'm being honest, that encounter went better than I expected. Tony, I've been noticing a recurring gamma spike. You see, this is why you shouldn't eat spicy food, Bruce. Localized in the West Village, converging on the Sanctum. Wanda. The collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath the takeout menus. Shifting mystical polarities are wreaking havoc on my portals. You don't say. You okay, kid? Yes. Are you? Let's, uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Carol. Bruce and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's... Well, you did the big green guy proud. I really showed up my homeowner's insurance. Miss Maxim, the wards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Forever in service. Ready when you are, boss. Nice one, Carol. Always the direct approach. You know I don't mess around. Besides, we picked up some crazy gamma readings coming from, well, here. Guessing that explains the Hydra goons and ominous green lights. Yes, but not why you failed to use the front door. Um, hi, how about we discuss proper hero landing etiquette after we take down the bad guys? Prepare yourself! I hope this is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. I'm saving my energy till we need it. Let's 
good. This should be good. Oh, that Davenport was at least a century old. What a waste. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon higher hands if he is Fair enough. They haven't given up yet. What are we waiting for? How do these guys just keep showing up? They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Don't mess with me.
I'm on it. Interesting tactic. Won't end well for you. It's for the best, trust me. All the help you can get. We're three of the world's strongest heroes, right? Doesn't it seem like this should be easier? I've punched through scroll star cruisers that went down faster. Something's up. Yes, Hydra has clearly raised their game, and I have a terrible suspicion as to how. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. This should be good. They don't all have to be pretty. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the Midnight Sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep. Challenging the Sorcerer Supreme. Be silent. Be still. What just happened? How? Be. God. No! A fellow daughter of Transia. You remind me of my own beloved. In virtute vishanti! Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa! I'm fine. I'm fine. The prophecy is in motion. Lilith is still out there growing stronger each second the Midnight Sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here, exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. Welcome to the Abbey. Home of the Midnight Sun. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Which one? Now, if everyone would just take a moment... Enough!
you're standing on my flowers. Oh, been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. I know Lilith's back. We're sisters after all. <sighs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the Hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. of light and darkness. You who came the night. Hear the voice of those who beseech thee and... The caller! Wait! spells are concerned, I've seen worse, particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. The visiting hours are over. You can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade, be nice. Always am.
cold, but the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. But now I sense... I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. You will not live to regret your error. Cute, and Caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission. But I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damp here? Daywalkers were a myth even to me. Says the half human, half demon monster hunter. You appear quite versed in my history, damp here. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith, last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondagore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. Right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. Did I miss something? Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but either works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Привет. And I think you already met Blade. Of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Well, how did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know. The Abbey. Basic stuff. Dorms, war room, library, a few places to chill, and, uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Oh, and one more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch, just wait until you meet them. 
Speaking of, we're here. Yeah, okay, spend 10 minutes in this place alone, Bruce, then see. Oh, <clears throat> gotta go. Show's about to begin. Caretaker's home for wayward sorcerers, scientists. Uh, did someone give you a cup of coffee at least? I gave it a... Unfortunately, time. Just remember, if it came down to it, your blood... With all... At least they don't have me stationed. You might see a few familiar faces around the Abbey, but mostly you'll find a lot of powerful strangers wondering just what they've gotten themselves into. Just be yourself, and you'll be fine. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. You act as if I Nothing about any of this is easy, Blade. Yeah, tell that to one. So that was Lilith, huh? She's a real 90s album coming by. So crazy. Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look... older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? That's my name. Tony, that's uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? <sighs> Smiting the Dragon Mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. What? Straight to voicemail? Some Sorcerer Supreme. Must be mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot Whoa, what kind of network you run in there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! The dark force, pushing against the wards. Steven, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda is trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins now. She's the hunter's mother. Resemblance dwindles when one is twisted by Cathan's power. Whose power? Cathan, the Elder God. Is Cathan the Elder God of metal bands? Uh, no. Tony, read your briefings. Relax, I'm just spinning him up. You think now's really the time for that? 
I nearly broke my hand on Lilith's face. She didn't... With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Darkhold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. You are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, oh, fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time, as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, it feels... different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. We should hurry. As much as I'd love to hear a first-hand account of your exploits, time is of the essence, I'm afraid. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is... not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... well... I'll just let her show you.